I just made $2,000 in a couple minutes at the thrift store, and this is what I got. Six Nintendo gaming watches from the 1980s, and not just any regular ones, we found the grail of all grails, egg. I'm not talking about your breakfast, I'm talking about this small little Nintendo Game & Watch that is the most rarest and expensive out of all of them in the entire world. And for anybody who doesn't believe I actually found these in a thrift store, here's the original video up on the left hand side. I had no clue the actual value of these. I knew they were worth something, but I had no idea they were worth as much as they are worth. I still have them in the bag with the original price on them. $3.99, $3.99, $3.99, and $2.99 for this one. So just a bunch of them. I'm gonna open them. If you don't know what they are already, they're kind of cool. They're Nintendo gaming watches. And each one of these bags has two of them in or more. I haven't tested these out, obviously. I just opened them from the bag. They're from 1981 though, 1982. This one's the egg. We got fire attack, we got egg. I'm just gonna show you guys each one I found. We got the Popeye. This one's from uh, 1981 as well, Nintendo Japan. Nice green and gold, that one's really cool. We got Snoopy Tennis. That one's 1982, 1982 Snoopy Tennis, 1981 Popeye. So a bunch of 1981, 1982s. That's four of them so far. All for 3.99. What a great price! Another 1982 Fire Attack. So I do not have another one. So that's two, two 1982 Fire Attacks. We got this G-Man, G-Man, almost looks like a bootleg Game & Watch, G-Man, who knows, these could be maybe valuable too, I'm not even sure. We got the, this one was probably the coolest one that I've seen, this one's 1986, 1986, look at that blue too, it's beautiful, it's like the Tiffany blue, and look at that, it's the, like a clamshell DS. Squish, Nintendo, Game & Watch, little clamshell. Guessing all these, yeah, all of them need batteries. So maybe we'll try to get some batteries and test them out. But wow, wow, wow. That's three, five, six. Six Game & Watches in total. One bootleg. And we got two more. Oh, shit. Casio. This one's a Casio. Casio 1987 Magical Crystal. Never seen that one before. And then we got a Jungle Boy. Another bootleg just like the G-Man. G-Man and Jungle Boy. Both of them are missing the battery doors on those. But it looks like bootlegs to me. So I'm not really mad. Six total Game & Watches. All from the 1980s. I'm not sure the value on any of these. Especially untested. But we paid $3.99 for like two each. Now I'm editing, I know how much they're worth. And clearly this one's worth the most. What's crazy is this one, the most expensive one is in the best condition. So I'm gonna get a pretty good amount of money for this. We're gonna come back if this one sells. So we finally sold it. We finally sold the Game & Watch egg for 1800 cash. We already sold the other Game & Watches for this price, this price, and this price. So we have a grand total already of this. I still also have the squish for 300 and I have another fire attack that I have never even posted that's probably worth about 100 bucks as well. So my grand total is a lot more than $2,000, but it was such a great day, a, such a great find, I cannot believe it was where it was. There's a guy rolling out a new bin of stuff. I already searched the whole store and I just had this feeling that something was in that bin. So I literally checked the bin and boom, it's finally nice and sunny out, got my shirt on. And honestly, I was literally in like a toque and sweater for pure survival a little bit ago. So it is absolutely beautiful out here. As you can see, the traffic is just always packed down up here in Toronto. But 
We're running to a thrift store right now. We're gonna find some goodies. I was just downtown at Scotiabank Arena and I found a Nintendo 64 with a bunch of games for 60 bucks. It was an absolute steal. Let's shoot to that clip right now. What up? I'm downtown Toronto about to grab something to flip. It's a Nintendo 64 for only $60 and it comes with a bunch of games. We're actually right in front of the Scotiabank Arena right here absolutely crazy place i had nowhere to park and i could probably get a ticket right here because this is definitely not a place to park got the pack with all the stuff he wrapped it up kind of hard oh let me get on the other side i'll show you guys it hold on fuck he tied it up fucker good we got superman we got NFL Quarterback Club 99, NHL Breakaway 98, Mario Golf. That one's just nice, too. I haven't seen Mario Golf in a long time. WWF No Mercy. All black cartridge, too. Those ones are like 30, 40 and 50, I believe, each. GoldenEye 007. Perfect Dark. Pretty good condition on that one, too. And then we got Mario Tennis. So Mario Golf and Mario Tennis. And all these games, I would say these are probably around 100 plus just for those. And then we got a red Nintendo 64 controller with the authentic Nintendo. There's a lot of knockoffs. We don't want to buy no knockoffs. We got a gray one. Power cords, console, everything. This console's in pretty good shape. I haven't seen one of these in so long. I haven't seen a Nintendo 64 in a minute. I haven't even seen one in a thrift ever. If you see anything you like in these videos, they're always available, links in description, and I always sell everything that I get for the cheapest available in the world. I always try to make my prices the lowest in the world. So if you want this stuff, links in description. So I've just been flipping stuff like crazy. We grabbed the OLED yesterday. Grab that only for 300, sold it for 400 immediately. So I could go on and on about everything I buy, flip, or get with this money, but in the end, it just helps me live. It helps me pay my insurance, which is just extremely high in Toronto. Helps me put groceries in my fridge, dog food in my dog's bowl, and every bill I need to pay. So I just say thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Everybody who watches these videos, all the subs, and everybody who buys things out of the shops, I really appreciate all you. I thank you so much. And I would be lying if I told you I still love thrifting. The prices in the thrifts have just risen and risen, and everybody is honestly a reseller now. So lately, I've been thinking of just transitioning my content and just trying something new. I'm not too sure yet, honestly. This is something that makes me quite a bit of money. So as for now, I'm going to just keep making money, but I really don't like this anymore. <laughs> But don't let that change your mind about doing this. If you see these videos and you think you could do this or you could make some extra money before you go to work or after you go to work, definitely try it out because you could make a lot of money doing this on the side. If you're consistent and you have a good area with some good stuff and not a lot of competition, you could make an extreme amount of money. So this right here is a DS light with the broken hinge. We're going to shell swap it. We're going to put a little Pokemon sticker on the screen. We're going to just refurbish it and we're going to completely give it a new life. So we're going to end the video right here with a chill little DS shell swap, whatever you want to call it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.
local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get a service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. Water, 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 water